Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com. Uh, we're gonna make a short video on here on how to time a needle bar on this 1341 clone. We have knocked the needle bar out of time on this. So if we see, when we turn, I'm gonna try and focus there, the hook is coming across at the bottom of the needle when it should be coming right above the eye of the needle. So the hook, let me show. The hook is this right here, that's your hook. And the, it should be crossing above and not below, okay? So to show this, we're going to adjust the needle bar. So Jose's gonna loosen this screw. We've already loosened it, so you may have a little trouble loosening it first. And then we're going to lower the needle bar. So what position we wanna try and do this in, the good reference is the back of this screw. So if we could line it up to the back of the screw, Jose. A little bit, no, but the back. Keep going a little more. A little more the other way. There, stop, right there. And now go down a little more. So right there is pretty much the timing on the machine, okay? So we're gonna tighten this back up and then we're gonna check the timing. So if you see that screw, all right? And so now we're gonna check the timing and then Jose's gonna tell me if we did it properly. Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right, so that's our reference. So let's back, perfect, stay exactly there, Jose. So that's gonna be our reference point for a needle at its lowest point, all right? So we've lowered the needle bar. We're gonna make sure this set screw here, zoom out, the set screw is still on the side here, okay? And then we're gonna tighten this back up really tight, and then that should set our needle bar height, all right? If you have a hook problem, that's a different story. We have not made a video for that yet. Okay, I'm Steve from sewinggold.com. That was Jose. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you very much.